What is up YouTube? We are back. I know it's been a while. We took the year to just enjoy our rig and see what we liked about it, what we didn't like about it. We have used it a ton. This thing has rarely been parked for more than two weeks at a time. I'm over here now uh, dropping stuff off. I really wish I was picking it up for our next trip, but that's not for a couple weeks. Kids are getting ready to start school. We have a lot going on, so it's been parked for a couple weeks. We just got back from a, a big two-week family vacation. Something I've been thinking about a lot is there's all kinds of videos about, you know, RV must-haves and what you really need if you're going to buy a trailer or buy an RV. But one of the things that people don't talk about is doing things like that on a budget. And one of my favorite stores is Harbor Freight. I think that Harbor Freight has a lot of great things you can buy. You can purchase most of the stuff on a budget. It's not terribly expensive. It works. It will last you. And there's a lot of stuff in the rig that we use all the time that has held up. Um, that shows no signs of wear or breaking down. So come on, I'm going to show you some of the things that we use every day from Harbor Freight. I'm going to give you my top five items and then maybe throw in a couple bonus items. I don't know. We'll see. But come on, let's go check it out. So we are back over here at the rig and like I said, there's a lot of cool things that we use from Harbor Freight that we use all the time in this rig. The first thing that I bought for this rig and that I use all the time is this guy. This is a Bauer leaf blower. And as you can see, it's not huge, like the massive leaf blowers you see the guys around the neighborhood. Uh, it is powered by a battery. So it's electric, it's rechargeable. And this battery on here works with all the other Bauer tools. I actually had this before I bought the trailer. And when I bought the trailer, I put this in a trailer and I went up and bought a big leaf blower for the house because this thing's super compact. I bought a battery charger. The battery lasts a long time on this. Um, we've been dry camping and I haven't had to like start the generator up to charge the battery so I can blow off the the mats. This tool is also great for if you don't have the slide covers, which you can see up here, I don't have the covers on my slide. So this is great. I can get up there with my ladder and I can blow leaves and debris and everything off the top. It's awesome for that. The next tool I really love having in the trailer and it works with the Bauer battery is this Bauer inflator deflator and it also uh, blows up tires. It has a little tire thing. It does footballs, basketballs, soccer balls. This thing is amazing. It does take the Bauer battery, as you can see, but you can also see in there, it plugs into a cigarette lighter. So if you wanted to buy this independently, didn't want to go through buying the battery for the Bauer system, you can just buy this and use it off a cigarette lighter. It's kind of amazing. It's way better cordless, I will say that, uh, but it does work if you don't want to buy the battery. I had one of those big heavy duty jump boxes that had the air pump on it. And one of the trailer tires was down to like 30 pounds and these hold 100 PSI. So I set the thing on there, I set it for 95 PSI and I let the thing run and it ran and ran and ran and ran. It seemed like it ran all day and finally it stopped. It was only at like 55 PSI and it had completely killed the jump box. The thing died. It killed every function in that junk jump box. I ended up throwing it away. I went down to Harbor Freight. I bought this thing. I hooked it in. In like five minutes, it had it all the way up to 95 PSI. I have used it on my truck tires. Those take about 110 PSI. It does not even flinch. And the battery still has a ton of juice when you get done. Awesome purchase, great for air mattresses. We have two kayaks that we use this thing to fill up and deflate. It's amazing for that. Go out and get yourself one of these if you, if you have an RV period, because you could have a low tire on the side of the road. This thing is gonna save your bacon so many times. It's amazing, go get one. So I said I would talk about some bonus items and I will, I'm gonna talk about one thing and I don't have it here, but I will put a link up and I'll probably put up a fancy picture from Harbor Freight's website, but it's zip ties. Every RVer needs zip ties and you can go to Harbor Freight. You can buy this big tub of assorted zip ties. It will work for anything that you're doing in the trailer. 
or emergency fixes, if you want to tie up some of your cables or hoses, these things are amazing. They work just as good as any other zip ties. I've used them for anything you can imagine and they work incredibly. One other must have for any RVer are wheel chocks. Doesn't matter if you have a tow behind or a regular motorhome, you're going to want these to keep your rig from going anywhere. I know people that park on perfectly level ground, they say it's fine. They don't throw chocks down. Believe me, you want them. If somebody comes in and accidentally bumps into your rig or when you're backing into it and you're hooking it up, you want to make sure it's not going anywhere. And if you do have a motorhome, you're going to want them if you have to park on a slanted area and maybe you only have two of your wheels in contact with the ground once you get the jacks up in the air. You're going to want these under those two wheels. Harbor Freight sells these guys. They are the solid rubber wheel chocks and you can tell I use mine. They are constantly out when the RV is parked in storage or when I'm camping. They rarely sit inside the bins. They are going to withstand weathering. These things have been completely submerged underwater when our campsite got flooded. They've been sitting out in the sun in storage. They don't dry out. They don't crack. They don't break. Even if I was to drive over these things, they're not going to break. You can go buy those cheap plastic ones that you see at other places, but I guarantee one time you're going to forget about them. You're going to pull forward, shattered, gone. These are not going to do that. They may not even let you drive over them. They're so heavy duty. The awesome thing about getting them at Harbor Freight, these are $7.99 a piece. And that makes a big difference when you're buying four of them. So one of the next items is not something you necess necessarily think about being an RVer. But these things are so convenient and so easy, and I love having them all over the rig. I just bought another pack because I realized I needed some more in the trailer. These are these Quick Connect Garden Hose uh, fittings. Now you probably have seen these in your local hardware store, and you're gonna pay through the nose for them, but they're very budget friendly with Harbor Freight, and look how many of them you get in one single pack. Now I have these set up on all my water connections, and I bought this guy. This is also one of the items. It is this T junction for your water spigot. Now why this is important is because there's going to be times where you're camping. Maybe you're dry camping and there's a spigot nearby and you want to fill up your rig or you may want to hook to it just to use the water pressure. You can put one of these on and it still has a secondary spigot where people can fill up what they need. But check this out. I put these all over the RV. And all I have to do is roll up, put this on to whatever I'm hooked to, and now everything is quick disconnect. I even put it on my black water flush. It makes everything so much quicker because you only have to twist on one end and you can twist it on separately without having the hose attached. Super convenient. They're not very expensive and I'm telling you they're better than the ones you're gonna get at, at some of the big home improvement stores. While I'm back here, people, wear gloves when you're working with your sewer hose please i see way too many people that don't wear gloves they stuff that hose in their compartment or in the back bumper and they jump in their truck and pull off and they're drinking their coffee or eating a bagel disgusting wear gloves these are really inexpensive they sell them at harbor freight they're again budget friendly everything at harbor freight is super budget friendly these are latex free so if you're allergic to latex these work too now, again, I talked about bonus items and I wanna go over one other thing that I really like that I got, not for the trailer, but I ended up using it on the trailer mostly. And that is this cool little rack. This one was actually designed for an ATV. You can see how small it is compared to the rig. I didn't need anything massive. I either put our inflatable kayaks, which are in bags, and they fit nicely on here with a couple bungees, or I stack this thing with firewood and I strap it all down. That they make these bigger. I think Harbor Freight makes an aluminum one. If I can find it, I will link to it. Um, I may end up upgrading to that. But the reason I like this small one is because if you step back here and you look, it doesn't block the tail lights. It doesn't like block the license plate. I wanted to have something that was a little smaller that kept the visibility open so people could see my turn signals if I was changing lanes. One of the things you really have to think about when you're camping is illumination. Nobody wants to be sitting outside at night playing cards and have a dim lantern or just barely have any light to use. You also want to be able to go outside your rig at night and check. I may need a flashlight. So Harbor Freight has some solutions for that. First of all, they have this amazing 
lantern. And they have two, two of these lanterns. They're a little different. One of them does not have the frosting on the glass. The other one does. I prefer the one with the frosting. It's a little easier on the eyes. It provides a little more ambient lum illumination instead of giving you that piercing uh, bright light that's going to be blinding if you look at it. The other thing, I'm going to go inside here because I became a flashlight junkie when I was a police officer. And I love flashlights. I like nice, chunky, heavy duty flashlights that aren't too uh, awkward. They aren't too big, but they get the job done. Harbor Freight has this line, it's called Quantum. And I actually purchased about four of these. Two of them live in the trailer. I have this guy that is super bright. It has an adjustable beam on it. It's LED, so it lasts a super long time. Um, I've had this flashlight particularly, I've had for two years, and I've never replaced the battery in it. Um, I use this one probably the most out of these two flashlights because it's a little smaller, it's a little more convenient. This bad boy here is the big beast. This is the biggest flashlight that they sell in this series. Um, I'll put all the information on here so you can see how many lumens it is. It does not have the adjustable beam on it, but this thing throws an insane amount of light. Neither one is rechargeable. That would be the only downside. The only thing that I think would make these that much better is if they were rechargeable, but they do take replacement batteries. I carry those as well. Um, I believe these take D cell. I could be wrong. Um, they don't look big enough. They're, they're probably C cell. Um, but again, I'll put the link down below in the description so you can check them out for yourself. Buried down in my storage is these little pop up lanterns. I have a ton of these, not just in the trailer. I think I have four in the trailer, and I have at least two in my garage one in every single one of my vehicles that I own, including my motorcycle. They have magnets on the bottom, so they'll stick to anything that's metal. They're pop-up, they are super bright, and they're about the size of a soda can, which is super convenient. Okay, folks, listen, one more bonus item. I gotta give this one to you, because it is pretty amazing. I just picked it up at Harbor Freight. It is a parachute hammock. I'm gonna put the link to this in the description. This is not what I would call a need, but this, it, it, it's a need. You need one of these. They're great for relaxing while you're camping. I have one, not this brand, that was given to me for Father's Day, and I absolutely love it. I found this one at Harbor Freight. It's under 20 bucks, which if you've bought a parachute hammock, you know that is a, an insanely low price. Go out and pick up one or two or 10, however many you want. I got a second one because the hammock that I have is constantly being stolen by my kids. So I got this one for them and I'm gonna take mine back. But these have a weight rating up to 500 pounds. They come with the straps to go around trees and it has this little bag that is attached to the hammock and it packs up super nice. Looking forward to using it the first time when we take the trailer out in a couple weeks. Go out and get yourself one. These things are amazing. Well, folks, that's all I have for today. I hope that uh, you've learned something about these products. I hope that you run out and grab some of these things and try them for yourself. Don't just take my word for it. They really are amazing products. Go out, grab a couple, see what you think. Post below in the comments. And also, if there's something that you think I forgot that uh, Harbor Freight has that is a must have for RVs jump in the comments let me know I may go pick it up and do a video review and give you credit for that appreciate you watching and as always we'll see you at the campground